and welcome to Mode of Cosmic Therapy. I'm Paula Andrea Pyle, and I'm your host, and I will be visiting with you for the next hour or so, and I am delighted that you're here. I'm so happy to see you again. And for all of those who it is the first time in visiting with me, I'm going to take a brief few minutes, I couldn't hardly get the word out, few, few minutes, to explain exactly what I do during Mode of Cosmic Therapy. But before I do that, I'd like to welcome Mitzi on the camera. Hello, Mitzi. And Sandy on the soundboard. And Emmy and all of the rest of the people in this fine hour of Mode of Cosmic Therapy. Well, what is Mode of Cosmic Therapy, Paula? It is a study of life. It's an observation of life. It's an accumulation of life, if you will, in watching and seeing what happens. What happens every single moment that we are alive. Most of the time we are so busy, because this is a busy technological age, and we don't slow down hardly, to even know what we are doing. We pretty much go on automatic pilot in the morning and stay that way for the remainder of the day. Well, for these 58 minutes, we are going to wake up. We're going to observe. We're going to research and connect the events, the words, the situations, the episodes that occur and show you how everything is connected. Nothing is fragmented. Nothing is disjointed. Everything has meaning. Everything. I'm talking about when you walk out of the house and a bird flies over your head. That has meaning for you. The only thing is you're not aware of that bird flying over your head and you certainly don't ascribe meaning to it, I'm certain. How about that, certain? Mitzi, I said the word twice. So, we're going to start with the word certain. <laughs> and let me take a few moments too before I even begin what I do on the board. I am a real fan of numerology. It's an ancient science. It's older than astrology, in fact. And it is the science a vibration of numbers. Everything vibrates. Everything vibrates. This table vibrates. It's just vibrating at a lower frequency than I happen to be speaking. But it is nonetheless vibrating because all things are vibration. And so in the study of numerology, letters have vibrations. And to each letter, a number is assigned. And what I'll be doing in a few moments is taking those numbers, placing them under the various letters, and adding them up and reducing them down to the lowest denominator of vibration of this particular word. And because I started out with saying certain two times, it is going to be a theme today. Oh, did I mention that none of this is rehearsed? None of this, I have no idea what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do, what's going to happen in this momentarily fragmented, disconnected, disjointed segment of time. Meaning, that's how you approach life. You think that things are not connected, not cohesive, and not running on a smooth, even keel. And I'm talking about the things that happen out of place or out of sync. They're all really in sync. So we're going to start with the theme of the word certain. So let's see how that's going to play out. A C has the number three. A E has the number five. A nine, I mean an R has a number nine. A T has a number two. A has a number one. I has a number nine as well, and N has a number five. So let's see. We're going to add them up and reduce them down. That's a 15, and 12, 14, 19. Now vowels, 
vowels are extremely important. The consonants are as well because the vowels are, call, are carried and called, mm, let's, see, let's see why we're getting that word, are called within the letters. But the vowels are the heart of the word, the heart. The consonants are like the car that drives the word, the heart of the word. Okay. So in this particular word, we have a 15, and if I'm going to reduce 15 down even further, we have a 6, and we have a 19. It's, if I'm going to reduce it down again, it's going to be a 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Take away the 0 is 1. Makes for a 7. So the word certain, in this particular case, carries the vibration of 7. And if you've watched me on other shows, you know that 7 is a divine number. It is God's number. Seven cycles, seven days, seven certain, made up by a 15 and a 19. Six, one. All right. Six, I know represents unconditional love. And one is the pioneer. That's one thing that it is. So what we're going to do in this show, this certain show today, the certain avenue of your life today we're going to show unconditional love as a new experience because we're going to pioneer that situation, that event, that episode. Certain. C, E, R, T, A, I, in. Carry essentials. Relative. I'm making this up. To administer. Instinct. I-N-S-T-I-N-C-T, naturally. Woo! Now what did I just say? Carry essentials relative to administer instinct naturally. Carry essentials relative to administer instinct naturally. Now what in the world could essentials be? Now you may think you know what essentials are, Something that is necessary, something that adds measure or merit or value. Let's see. Woo! Mitch, we've got to go up here with his five, don't we? That's an E. One, one, another five, another five. Two, nine, one, three, one. Let's find out what essentials are. 19 is a 20. Yes, it is. Two, seven, nine. 12, 13, let's make sure. Let's make sure that I haven't added wrong. 1, 2, 7, 9, 12, 13, 5, 5, 5, 5, 19, 20. So when I put a 20 and a 13 together, I get a 33. Well, in the science of numerology, 33 is a master number. It is a master number. So those things that you need to take with you are of a master vibration. 
What am I talking about? I'm talking about of a higher level. Not normally what you're accustomed to. In fact, if you don't get in touch with these higher vibrations, you will not, you will not administer instinct naturally. What will you be? You will be phony. You will be false. You will be on automatic pilot. And that's what we started the show with. We started the show with because we are so busy, so busy, that our life appears as if it's not certain. We are not accustomed to aligning ourselves with that certainty of unconditional love that we must pioneer each day, every single day. We don't just walk around numbed, thinking we're showing this unconditional love or being satisfied with how we are conducting our acts during the day. We have to become aware. We have to wake up to this certainness that acts in ourselves at all times. Carry the essentials relative to administer instinct naturally. Okay. Let's see. Higher vibration. Why? Why, Paula? Why is any of this important? Why? Why is it important that I even listen to you at all talking about something that has nothing to do with me and seems like nonsense? Because our lives are nonsensical. How can that be, Paula? How can it be when so many things happen that I can't give a reason for, I can't understand, I don't know the reason why? What are you talking about? That it is a master vibration that I need to get in touch with so that I can better understand accept and radiate. How about that? You like that? Radiate a pure energy instead of a false one. You know, a couple of pages back I wrote the word phony and false. Well, if you're phony and false, maybe you're coming across as cardboard instead of a human being. Maybe that's what you're projecting. Maybe that's why you're not attracting the things in your life that you think you deserve. Let's see what cardboard is. All right, we've got a seven. What did I tell you? The heart, the heart that keeps beating in our chest. The heart, the heart that has pulsations, rhythmic energy that comes from us, keeps us alive. All right, the heart of this cardboard is a seven. It is a divine number. All right, so what is inside of us is alive. What is inside of us is certain. What is inside of us possesses us, administers to us, directs us, and guides us. But most oftentimes, we take for granted uh, even about our heart beating. We don't even think about it. But if you would stop just a moment, just one few seconds, and know that your heart is beating in spite of you, 
in spite of you. Your heart is beating. You don't have one bit of control about it. It is certain. It is that which keeps you alive. But yet you can walk around like cardboard with that divine energy, that heart beating inside of you. Let's see the vehicle you're using to carry this cardboard personality around. 12, 16, 18, 27, 31. Let's make sure. 12, 16, 18, 27, 31. And we're going to add that 7 to it, and it's going to give us an eight, 38. So, <laughs> I love this. 38. Cardboard has the vibration of 38, which is an 11, which is relationship, which is laws, laws of the universe that cannot be broken, cannot be overstated. This 38, this cardboard mechanistic human being that is walking around every day saying and doing and eating and going and being and accumulating and lying and smiling and joking, having sex and uh, putting money in the bank and driving a car and putting gas in the car and interacting. This cardboard of a person has at its heart God's number, the number seven, also with 31 as the personality that's driving it. Now, what in the world is, is 31? 31 comes down to a four. It has to do with Saturn. 